welcome to day number four. Welcome to day number seven. Day number 12. Welcome to Do It Heartily. Aloha. Welcome to episode 82. Uh, this is going to be a different video for you guys today. It's not exactly a Bible study, but it is something I wanted to, to watch. It's fun. Uh, it's actually an old camp skit video that I was a part of years ago, but I think it's fun. I think it's funny. I do think that you can learn something from it. Uh, there are a lot of questions today, but it's just an opportunity for you to get some coins. It's an opportunity to be entertained, and God created fun, guys, so let's enjoy it today, uh, but do make sure you spend some time in God's Word and praying before you send me your answers. All right, I'm going to turn it over to the video. Enjoy, and I hope it makes you laugh. Have a great day, guys. We love you. God loves you even more, and aloha. Welcome to Living Water Christian Camp. We always try to keep camp looking nice around here. And there are times where maybe you go to the snack shop and you buy a candy bar or a drink, or maybe you go to the bathroom and wash your hands and you end up with a paper towel like this. Be sure not to drop it on the ground, but pick it up and stick it in a trash receptacle somewhere around camp. This is what you should do. Hey Caleb, can you pick up that piece of trash for me, bud? When you come to camp, you'll meet lots of new people, especially the people that are in your cabin. They'll come with their own suitcases, their own shoes, their own Bibles, their own toothbrush. That's their stuff. Don't touch it. That includes their body as well. You don't want people touching you or your stuff, so don't touch theirs either. We basically put it this way. Don't touch other people's stuff. This is what you should do. This is what you shouldn't do. One of the great things about camp is that you get to build relationships with people like your counselors and people like me and Brother Mike. But don't forget that while you're having a good time with us that we're also your authorities. So be sure when we ask you to do something to obey us. That'll make our week and your week go much better. As a matter of fact, this is what you should do. Hey Brad, I need for you to go over and get the trash can out of the cabin, okay? Yeah, yes sir. Yeah. Hey Brother Mike, which cabin is it in? Brad, the third one. Yes sir. This is what you shouldn't do. Now, Caleb, I want you to go and I want you to clean your cabin, okay? Okay.
Caleb, I hope you're doing all right, man. Well, anyway, as you walk around the camp here, whether it's down here at the lake or up at the gym or over here at the cable ride, we have all sorts of posted signs everywhere. What you need to do is to be sure to go around and read them all and obey them. You need to obey all posted signs. As a matter of fact, this is what you should do. Hey, life jackets must be worn and secured at all times. No exceptions. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Go lay it. Right. Hoops. Let's, let's go, go, baby. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Right, right here, right here. Oh, oh right, here you go. go. Ah. Ah. Ooh, bad shot. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey. Do you know that when we said you have to have your life jackets on at all times, we're just talking about when you're boating, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, just want to yeah. make sure you guys do that. Alright. See you guys later. Have a good time. This is what you shouldn't do. Do not keep any jail equipment unless it is part of organized gas. Whatever. You know, there's a lot of good things to do around here at camp, from playing in the gym to playing in the games to swim time, and we want you to be involved in everything that we do here at camp. I promise you, it'll make for the best week you've ever had. This is what you should do. Yeah, buddy. No, they don't. I don't want to play. <sighs> okay. Ah!